For more than 500 years, ink printed on paper has been the best medium for delivering written information. But as the world becomes increasingly digital, all that is changing. Here at the Knight Ritter Information Design Lab in Boulder, Colorado, a team of journalists, designers, technologists, and researchers is putting together the tools that will take today's newspaper into the electronic age. We will have the interactive graphic now. So when you click on the graphic, it will animate on the front page. But you click on the story. Roger Fiddler established the lab for Knight Ritter in the fall of 1992. Today, he serves as its director. All human communication systems are undergoing a transformation uh, from one form to another, and that's all being brought about by uh, emergent technologies and by cultural changes. Uh, now, I, several years ago, I coined the word mediamorphosis. Uh, to describe this transformation. Uh, newspapers are certainly going through that now, but all forms of media that we know today uh, will be transformed over the next 10, 15 years. The transforming inventions are, of course, the computer and digital telecommunications. Uh, we're finding that uh, our capacity to be able to process and deliver information uh, through information superhighways and, uh, and computer systems are increasing in efficiency and they're resulting in reduced cost for publishing. Well, I do believe that for the first time we're going to begin seeing an alternative to ink on paper. Uh, it may be difficult to conceptualize the idea of digital paper, but in fact we believe that's what's going to happen. IDL is a, a media think tank. Uh, we bring people to the lab to uh, give us more insights into the developments of technologies, or particularly digital technologies and digital communication. Uh, our role is to investigate the opportunities that may be there for newspaper companies over the next few years, and to also try to develop a long-range vision of where the newspaper industry is headed over the next 5, 10, 20 years. An important part of this evolution is the emergence of the electronic tablet. This device is under development at consumer electronics companies around the world. Tablets will be a whole new class of computer. They'll weigh under two pounds. They'll be totally portable. They'll have a clarity of screen display comparable to ink on paper. They'll be able to blend text, video, audio, and graphics together. And they'll be part of our daily lives around the turn of the century. We may still use computers to create information, but we'll use the tablet to interact with information, reading, watching, listening. Our goal here at the Information Design Lab is to develop the appropriate interfaces and appropriate technology so that when we actually do produce uh, electronic editions of newspapers for these tablets, uh, that uh, we could hand it to you and you would immediately know how to use the newspaper because it looks familiar to you. In fact, what we're doing is building a bridge of familiarity. When we talk about human communication systems, what we discover in uh, throughout history is that they have evolved. Uh, and new forms tend to take on many of the characteristics of older forms for some period of time. Uh, over time, of course, they do evolve and take on their own uh, characteristics. Uh, I believe the same thing will happen in our transition from ink on paper to digital forms of, of newspapers and magazines and books. That in the beginning, they will retain many of the familiar characteristics of print products today. Uh, and I think that's absolutely essential. Uh, we don't want to have to issue people manuals to read their newspaper. Uh, you already know how to read a newspaper. You know how to turn pages, pull out a section, find things that, that are interesting to you. Uh, we can enhance that with electronic technology and make it much more uh, useful and add value to it, uh, but we believe we have to build a bridge of familiarity first uh, to get us from the, the ink on paper product into the digital world. Let's take a closer look at the Information Design Lab's vision of the electronic newspaper of the future. On first glance, it looks just like a printed newspaper. In fact, you can browse stories and turn pages just as you would on paper. But if a story interests you, you can read it more deeply. Suppose this story about Bosnia catches your attention. Just touch the text and the full story appears. What you read is no longer limited to the physical constraints of the printing press and production process. 
a story is edited for content and completeness, not for news hole. And the tablet newspaper extends communication beyond the written word. Touch the map and it comes alive, using the tools of sound and animation to tell the story. To understand the land divisions proposed today, one must look at how the diverse cultures of the Balkans recently were a part of Yugoslavia, which formerly held a prominent position in Central Europe. Access to information concerns everyone. This vision of an electronic newspaper lets its readers move beyond physical barriers. If you can't read small type, enlarge it until the type size feels comfortable for you. Tablet newspapers can also combine video and audio clips with written stories. For example, in this sports story, sound bites and instant replays mean you don't have to worry about missing that exciting play. The double play is gone. This ball's in the air. It might be deep enough to score a run. Batten underneath. He's got a great arm. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. They got him. <laughs> they got him. He never got to the plate. Hey, look at this. Swing the bat here. The double play is gone. This ball's in the air. It might be deep enough to score a run. Batten underneath. And unlike television, you can watch it as many times as you want or slow the video down to look at just one frame. An emblem is gunned down, and that is how it is The tablet paper even flags items of special interest to you. We've included a personal profile page where you can tell the newspaper to find ads or stories that match your interests. You can see an index of the entire newspaper with items that match your special interests highlighted. Turn to a set of abstracts that match your personal profile and jump from the index or the abstract to the full story. But moving to a new form doesn't mean you should give up anything including the ability to save and share pieces of the newspaper. Just like the printed form, with the tablet newspaper you can clip and save articles or send them electronically to a friend. You can do all this without using a manual because everyone already understands how a newspaper works. One of the things that helps readers navigate through the newspaper is its familiar look and feel. We know where to find everything in our newspaper it's the one we read every day. Retaining that look and feel is very important because people don't buy generic news. They buy a specific newspaper with a branded identity. For most people, a newspaper is like a friend. Uh, it's somebody you know, uh, you have come to trust. Over the last 15 years, there have been many attempts to develop electronic newspapers. And many of the technologists who have been pursuing these objectives uh, assume that information is simply a commodity and people really don't care where that information comes from as long as it matches their set of personal interests. Uh, I disagree with that view. People recognize the, the newspapers they subscribe to. Uh, they don't even have to see the name uh, on the nameplate. Uh, if it's in a newsstand, uh, they immediately recognize a New York Times or a Wall Street Journal or a Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, and it's also true for, for the local newspapers in small towns. Uh, and there is a loyalty attached to those, those, uh, those names. When you buy that newspaper and you go through the newspaper, you know how it's organized. It, it feels comfortable to you. Advertising is an important part of the Knight Ritter model. It helps underwrite the cost of the newspaper, making the news accessible to everyone. Plus, people like advertising. It's a part of the local information package, and at times, it can be as important as the news itself. Most people want to know what's on sale this week at the department store, and they want to clip the Sunday coupons. The tablet newspaper takes advertising to new dimensions, making the ad more useful to readers who are interested in it, without annoying readers who aren't at all interested in it. Just as you can go deeper into a story, you can go deeper into an ad. Plus, the tablet has two-way communications capability, so you can buy and sell electronically, make reservations, or request more information. Well, you have to think of ads somewhat differently in, uh, in electronic publishing. Uh, in a sense, they're very much like uh, a shopping center. Uh, in, uh, in the print model, 
uh, we find that you know you have a surface and it's a two-dimensional world so what you see is what you get the advertiser presents their image or the sale but it requires you then uh, after you've seen the ad to go do something uh, later with it uh, in the electronic world we're really dealing with a three-dimensional world the advertising on the surface pages that you browse just like a newspaper today um, are in a sense the storefront window if I'm interested in that ad and want to know more it's simply a matter of touching that ad and at that point I go through an electronic doorway into the advertiser's space and in that space might be a, uh, a video clip for 15 or 20 seconds sort of a TV commercial but I'm in control the tablet makes information 100 percent accessible it goes where you go if you don't want to read the paper, the tablet can read the stories to you. Read story. Geneva. Adopting the language and locale of a bygone diplomatic era. And you can get your news anywhere. We envision kiosks that will download your publications onto electronic cards that go inside the tablet. So if you're doing business in Miami, but your hometown is Denver, you can still get your local paper delivered every morning. This is one of the most exciting places to be in the, uh, in the newspaper industry today. Well, this is where I think we're going to play a role in changing, uh, changing history. And the people that we have here in our laboratory uh, are uh, creative, uh, energetic, uh, and very concerned about the newspaper industry itself and how to build on the strengths of the industry rather than simply just starting all over again. There are many people who believe that, that newspapers are dinosaurs and that they're going to become the, uh, the roadkill on the information superhighway in the not too distant future. Uh, we believe exactly the opposite. Uh, we believe that newspapers, in fact, can evolve into a new form of media that blends the old familiar aspects of a newspaper with the new technologies that are emerging so that uh, you have the ability to read and browse and scan as we do today uh, at the same time being able to uh, interact with the newspaper to interact with advertisers through your newspaper in ways that are, are not possible in print media today.